okay. You got it. Coming back. A Manta Queen. Yeah. We felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And Hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Shed the trappings of a materialistic life, Captain. You'll find your soul much less burdened. Also, we're broke. Yes. If we were meant to enjoy the things that glitter and shine, the universe would provide them. Most of Halcyon isn't up Sulphur Creek. I'd wager the opposite. The corporations are doomed. Only we have the truth at our backs, and we are better for it. Now, why have you come? Stop. No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. I realize the board has blockaded our efforts, but Devil's Peak is an interplanetary radio tower. Surely somebody is listening. Surely? Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now's the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. I've had my sights on an old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Some of us actually read those periodicals, boss. Gotta be acquainted with the enemy's propaganda and what all. Yeah, exactly. And I just gotta have my tossball coverage. You see, citizens of Halcyon are glued to their periodicals. Even I find myself occasionally distracted by their positively shameful quality of editing and unacceptable disregard for grammatical structure. My literary prowess will hook them, and the eternal truth will reel them in. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like one of Sanjar's fishermen. I may have worked in the presses once, but the bitterness of being slave to their abhorrent rules has long since vanished. All right, almost vanished. Can you believe they don't put a comma after the final item in a series? Bastards. That is the point. Their utter lack of regard for basic literary decency is an allegory for their treatment of the working class. All right, I can see I've lost you along the way. I'll be clearer. Will you help us take the printing press? Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... <sighs> Forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. 
it seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs, so eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so... tone-deaf. One of our sympathizers, a woman named Carlotta, periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Hey, I know you. Boss says you've been real helpful, like. But, uh, we got this handled. We appreciate, but do not require your assistance. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. Huh. I don't know what your angle is, but... All right. Be sure to tell her how hard it was to fix the generator. You know, after you're done fixing it. Nice and easy. The hell's this? Boss? Keep walking.
quiet. What are you up to out there? Hello? Relax. I've been cooped up in here for almost two days. Who are you anyway? Sanjar's declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Bram ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure, but I respect the Iconoclasts for doing it. Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten.
crazy town. Never change. This place wasn't half so pretty in the cereals. On my way. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. You needn't concern yourself with trifling logistics. Trifling logistics? They're our best unit, and now they're missing in action. And we'll continue that discussion later. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? The board must have gotten a hold of him at last. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. The print... Oh, no. Graham, you didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Vanoys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They weren't willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. You're lucky they don't have airlocks on Monarch, or someone would have helped you into one by now. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Yes! You're damn right he could have, but he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them.
If I never smell another rat, it'll be too soon.